Get ready, get ready for this pipe and hot tea. Get ready, get ready for a tea time and filter with your girl love and tea. Spilling all this hot tea on this podcast street. So get ready, get ready for this pipe and hot tea. From tea time and filter with your girl love and tea. Hey, Tea Sippers, I hope you guys are doing good today. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely Tea. And I have my special guest in the house tonight, B.L. Sherelle. B.L., say what's up to the people. Hey, guys. Hi. So, as we was talking, now, if you guys remember, back on May 14th, 2022, me and B.L. came together and we had talked about the whole Young Thug Rico case with Gunna and about 28 Associates. And um, literally, Tigro Damas and BL Damas, we called everything. If you go back and listen to the podcast that we did seven months ago, it is eerie how many things came to pass that we talked about in that podcast. Oh. We, we'll never get props because we're not men. We'll never get props because we're not DJ Sloppy Demics or, you know, Whack 100. But it's okay. The T-Sip is recognized the real. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I mean, we don't even got to do this one. Y'all can just go back and listen to the old one for real, for real. Exactly. Yeah. It is so much going on right now. So as we all know, when I did my live stream yesterday, Gunner was getting released from jail. He's been in jail um, damn near eight months. And so they gave him a five-year sentence, but they said that they were only going to, they were going to let him off with a year credit and then the rest would be a suspended probation. And so a lot of people were really shocked about that because this is a RICO case. Now, what was even more interesting, I'm going to go ahead and once again release and once again read his statement that was put out to the press. So this is what's causing a lot of controversy for a lot of people on social media right now. So Gunna says this, when I became affiliated with YSL in 2016, I did not consider it a gang, more like a group of people from Metro Atlanta who had common interests and artistic aspirations. My focus of YSL was entertainment, rap artists who wrote and performed music that exaggerated and glorified urban life in the Black community. While I have agreed to always be truthful, I want to make it perfectly clear that I have not made any statements, I have not been interviewed, and I have not cooperated, and I have not agreed to testify or be a witness for or against any party in the case and have absolutely no intention of being involved in the trial process in any way. He also goes on to say, I have chosen to end my own RICO case with an Alfred plea and end my personal ordeal by publicly acknowledging my association with YSL. An Alfred plea in my case is the entry of a guilty plea to the one charge against me which is in my best interest, while at the same time maintaining my innocence towards the same charge. I love and cherish my association with YSL music and will and always will. I look at this as an opportunity to give back to my community and educate young men and women that gangs and violence only lead to destruction. Okay, um, so that is, wow, there's a lot to dissect in that. And they made sure to write not in all caps, you know, um, because he knows people are looking at this like, yo, you snitch, you you folded. What's up? So let's start here. What exactly is an Alfred plea? Because I've never heard of this. And most of these, you know, online uh, bootleg lawyers and prosecutors, they can't seem to explain it either. So mm -hmm. I want to know if you could explain that for us. So an Alfred plea, I will say most people when they use it it's because they're genuine because otherwise you could just do a regular plea it's no you know no real difference the main difference is that you are maintaining your innocence you're saying hey i didn't do this i'm innocent of this but the evidence would likely lead to me being guilty so because of that because of the evidence um having a high probability of producing a guilty verdict I'm going to plead guilty, but I am innocent. That's what an alpha plea is. Okay, but then let me ask you, can that be used at any time? So let's say I'm out here moving weight and selling drugs and, you know, doing my little dirt on the side, but not really doing big, big dirt. Can I then mm -hmm. enter into an Alfred plea? Or is that given 
when they just feel like you're a small fish in the operation. So let's just give you this plea. So a plea in general is all going to be, you can only get a plea if they give it to you. Right. Mm. So in general, you can't call the shots on which plea you want to get. Okay. Um, if you remember from the beginning of the gunner situation, I was telling you his, the things that they had on him did not equal up. Remember I was like, that might actually be a crack in the case or they might be trying to get him to rule because he mm -hmm. didn't have real like criminality in his situation. So right. I'm guessing that they allowed him to, you know, into the alpha of plea because they, because they know that basically mm -hmm. um, they know that, you know, he probably didn't have much to do with the whole uh, gang activity at large and because of that they're going to allow him to offer alpha plea but it doesn't matter because you still have to do a lot of the things that he did in the plea which is um, state that you're guilty of whatever you're being charged with you have to state that that's a part of the process of taking a plea mm. and yeah because remember when he was his only charge at the time was being in the car with young thug Right. And they found the guns and the drugs. There was another car behind them. Right. But I don't even think before this, Gunner really had a criminal record. I might be mistaken. Yeah, I don't think he did. I don't know, though. But I don't mm -hmm. think he did. But when he, the, the first case, I, I want to say in 2017, it was the stolen gun with the pills in the car, the drugs in the car. Mm -hmm. Then in 2018, that was a speeding ticket. But the car behind them had the AK-47 and all that stuff. And in my opinion, I, I don't know, but I feel like Gunna is a civilian. I don't feel like he's really a part of that. I feel like he's a rapper. He's a rapper that's, you know, aligned with a gang. And for that, he got to pay the price now. It's sad, but it's true. Yeah, so a lot of people are definitely coming at his head. Um, little Boosie came out and says he considers him a snitch. Uh, Whack 100 has been saying this. Takashi 69 caught it seven months ago when they first got arrested. He was saying, Gun is gonna roll over. He's gonna roll over. He's gonna tell. Um, so right now they're talking about it on Clubhouse. Um, little Boosie made a statement. So I'm gonna go ahead and play both of these clips here so that way we can hear them. And I'm gonna share my screen with you. So give me just a second here. I became affiliated with YSL around 2016. Is that true as it pertains to you, Mr. Kitchens? Yes, ma'am. YSL is a music label and a game, and you have personal knowledge that members or associates of YSL have committed crimes in furtherance of the game. Yes, ma'am. You were present when law enforcement officers stopped the vehicle in which you were present along with Jeffrey Williams, wherein hydrocodone, methamphetamines, and a firearm were recovered. These items did not belong to you. Yes, ma'am. And do you acknowledge the following statement? I recognize, accept, and deeply regret that my talent and music indirectly furthered YSL the game to the detriment of my community. YSL as a game must be in. Is that your statement or acknowledgement? Yes. Involved. What's your views after hearing Gunna's um, responses to those statements that he made? Listen, I don't got no views on it. It's clear as day. I feel like you know when 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 it's your favorite when it's your favorite artist come up with a million excuses. You know, it's clear as day. What is the point? It's clear as day. Me and you fighting. Me me and you fighting a case, right? Me and you fighting a case. I, I I'm Danny. You Jamal, right? Okay. We both robbed the bank together. We robbed the bank together. You fighting for your life, right? It's, we we fight for your life. My road is not as crazy as your road, right? My road not cra as crazy as your road. So you gonna take it all away because you 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 don't got no plea like I got a plea. But I'm gonna say once you plead guilty, you admit to the crime. So the, not only do the do do the do the prosecutors, do the state, do the feds, anybody who's who, who's 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 going against you. Once you plead guilty, that's it. You you admitting. You walking into that courtroom, you gonna admit everything you did wrong, straight up. You gonna admit. So now anything you say is gonna be used against your man. Like once I say yes, I'm guilty. I was there. I, once you go under oath in that courtroom and the stenographer is typing all of this shit up, your man is dead, nigga. They you just hung your man because now they gonna be like, 
your man walked in. True. He I'm Danny, right? I'm fighting a case with my with, with my man Jamal. We just robbed the bank, right? Put it in okay. for y'all to see. We just robbed the bank. We both get locked up for the for the, for the bank robbery. I was just the getaway driver. My man walked in there armed to rob the bank. His his role is 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 more crazier than my role. He gonna get more time than I am. I'm still part of it, but my role is not. I'm I'm not the top guy, right? I'm Danny. He's Jamal. If I come if I come to a plea agreement with the with the prosecutors and I say, you know what? I'm gonna take this plea. I'm gonna admit to my wrongdoings. I'm gonna admit to my crime. I'm gonna say, yes, I was there, I did it. If my man don't got the same plea as me, once I plea, remember, he fighting for his life. He's going all the way. He don't got the same plea I got. He's not having it. So me pleading guilty. It's only making it worse for my man. It's I'm saying I was there. Yes, I did it. I plead guilty. I am guilty. I am guilty. Anything you you just said in that courtroom is gonna be used against your man. My man. That shit is over. It's quiet. Lights out. Curtains closed. You just you just told the state, the judge, whoever is there to incriminate you. My man was there. He's there. We did it. Why? Because I said, yes, I'm guilty. Give me my time. I don't give a fuck what happened to this nigga. But yes, we were there. We did it. Do you get me? Okay, so you heard some of that. His audio was trash. I don't know what um, Mexican Bluetooth he's using, but <laughs> the audio was trash. But what he's basically saying is that he felt like Gunner wrote and, you know, told on uh, Young Thug basically by pleading guilty. Now, he also took to Instagram and he also wrote this. This was on 6 ix Instagram today. He said, just shut the F up and listen. I know y'all don't want to accept it. Your man is fighting for his life in court on a gang Rico. Judge, are you aware that YSL is the gang? You are aware that YSL is the gang, correct? Fat ass gunner. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> he is so messy. Judge, only you and Jeff were in the car and the police find a handgun and drugs. Did This didn't belong to you, correct? Fat ass gunner. Yes, ma'am. Go ahead and make your millions of excuses. I stand on whatever I did or did on whatever I do or did. That's why I'm still walking on this earth and nothing ever happens to me. I am him, pussy. One nigga is getting shot and kicked in their face. Can't be me. Fat ass gonna. Yes, ma'am. So 6 9 is definitely speaking on this situation. He has a lot to say. And he, what was that? A shot at Nipsey? He's so like, what the fuck do that got to do with anything? He's sick now. Um, what part was a shot at Nipsey? When he said people getting shot and, and kicked in their face. Um, yeah. What the fuck? He, he, just, he just really, really bitter. Um, now, I will say there's a difference between taking a plea and um, cooperating like write like um, writing a statement, you know, they question you, you write it's a full statement, you sign your name, you pick out people, you help the investigation. Then when a the trial comes, you go to trial, you reinforce what you've said, um, you point people out on, on the stand. There's a difference between that and signing the plea. However, signing the plea can be detrimental to the people that you're fighting with. Mm -hmm. If you sign a plea and everybody else wants to fight, then you're kind of putting them in a very, very tight spot to try and fight once you admit guilt. Um, now, additionally, a lot of the questions that they asked Gunna in that plea bargain, that was very, very particular. In particular, the one question about, so you were in the car with the gun and the drugs um, in whatever year, and those gun and drugs were not yours, correct? That I've never seen no shit like that in a plea deal. That was damn near, that was testifying to me, in my opinion. And what's even more creepy is the fact that that, that whole video leaked online. Why would yeah. that leak online? So I feel like there's a lot of games being played in this entire case. And they're trying to also plant seeds of dissension because they know once that, that, court case that little court snippet that we showed on um, Instagram once that leaks online it's gonna start possibly a situation where people feel like well he's 
turning on us, quote unquote, right? By denouncing YSL and saying, well, it wasn't mine. Well, if it's not your drugs and your gun, and there's only one other person in the car, it's that person. So then right. that might plant the seed that other people are like, well, damn, if he's rolling, let me go ahead and say what I know. Exactly. And the co-founder of YSL pleaded guilty today as well. Oh, did he? He did. So I don't know. I mean, I, I feel like the co-founder of YSL pleading guilty is much more damaging to Young Thug than Gunna pleading guilty. Yo, what's up? Hey, tea sippers To listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.